In just a moment, further developments on the Midwestern Bigfoot. Good evening. I have a message for all of you. To those who are going to the Spring Fling April 24th and 25th at Timberlake Ranch Camp, I'm afraid I'm the bearer of bad news. My message is not a good one, but rather one of deep and fearful concern. It goes by names such as White Death, Brown Death, Tim, Black Death, but to me it's much more than names, for I've spent my entire professional career pursuing and documenting this beast more commonly known as Sasquatch. I am Randolph Jansendorf II, the world's foremost expert on the Sasquatch. I believe that there is a new species of Sasquatch living in, near Timberlake in close proximity in the Platte Valley of Nebraska. And for that reason, I cannot with a clear conscience recommend that anyone attend the Spring Fling April 24th and 25th. My credentials are long and distinguished. I'm the only person alive to have witnessed both the Siberian Sasquatch with its icy white fangs of destruction and the elusive Sasquatch of the Pacific Northwest. I'm the author of many books, including Beyond Bigfoot, A Beast of Poetry. I have made countless appearances on both national television and radio, and I'm the founder and president of the Institute for Sasquatch Capture and Monitoring, and my dad has a very hairy back. The evidence is clear. In the woods surrounding Timberlake Ranch Camp, I have found very strong evidence for adult Sasquatch activity. I have found hair on trees as the brawny beast moves its way through the woods. I have found footprints, huge footprints, on, nearly it. two feet in length. That's like the equivalent of four Twinkies. Not to mention, I have also found the not-so-aromatic indications of a healthy Sasquatch. I hope you all realize the seriousness of what it is we're dealing with here. This is not your typical barnyard animal that you can just waltz up to and take a mug shot of. This is not a beast of gentleness or beauty, but rather one of pure rage and hideous power. It would be nothing short of suicide for any of you to attend the Spring Fling April 24th and 25th at Timberlake Ranch Camps until this threat is taken away, which I have been unsuccessful at. Watch for yourself my vain attempts at capturing the Platte Valley Sasquatch. We've located a region of very high Sasquatch activity, so what I'm going to do is try to snare this beast. What we have here is a standard monster snare, but I've slightly modified it. The bait we're using today is cookies. However, these cookies have been loaded with an unusually high amount of salt. When the Sasquatch tastes these cookies, he will become extremely thirsty and will grab for this water, which is placed on the trigger mechanism. And as soon as that is lifted, we will capture this beast. With all the preparation we've gone through, I'm really confident that today we are going to catch the Platte Valley Sasquatch. You hear that? <laughs> I think we got one. 